Uh, hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back. I know it's been a while, but uh, you know, I've been busy. I got a new job. Uh, I got a job work for uh, for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It's very exciting. Very enjoyable. They saw my videos and they said, hey, you know, we need you for a special project. We got our new city, Neom, and we need you to help promote it to the many peoples of the world. Unfortunately, it didn't quite pan out. You know, I, I realized very quickly that my core competency of uh, really nothing couldn't actually contribute much to the project. And the, the guy who hired me, I, I think he didn't actually speak English, um, just, just kind of saw the video and, and saw that it had some number of views. So uh, that's how I ended up, ended up there. And then I, I made a whole, actually made a whole bunch of videos, around, around 100 in the time I've been gone, but uh, they didn't like any of them. So they all went in the trash. So that didn't really produce much. And uh, eventually, you know, uh, I was part of a team, of course, and don't you know, go over alone. They brought in me and some other influencers. We got some uh, some people who make uh, un unboxing videos. Uh, unfortunately, uh, what they discovered was that you cannot unbox the Kaaba. They, they, that was there and i think i don't know honestly i think they got a short i got they got short shrift you know i mean they're telling us you got to make content you got to get views you got to get eyeballs on saudi arabia and then what do these guys do they make a video that's going to go super viral uh unbox unboxing the kaaba unboxing the kaaba live reaction wow crazy gone, gone sexual would have been a banger video unfortunately you know how it goes people these, these people they just these old-fashioned media people just don't understand. So those guys, of course, you know, they, they got sort of their running with the religious police and uh, Dad don't really know what happened to them. It was kind of, it was, it's kind of made clear that wasn't the sort of thing you're supposed to ask about. So those people went away. So after that, there weren't that many people left. There were a few of these uh, car vlogger guys. Um, all, all of them died pretty tragically. Uh, you know, they got all those Bugattis there. They were all driving pretty fast on the highway. And, you know, all, all, I mean, this is the thing about, about these, these fast cars. I mean, all it takes is one of them going wrong. And then next thing you know, first car hits, the second car hits, the third car, fireball, burning flesh. Uh, it's, it smelled like someone, you know, left, left some meat in the, in the oven too long. It was just burning fat and flesh. And it was pretty gross to be around, to be honest. I think that actually might've hurt the whole kind of project. And then... At this point, frankly, there weren't many of us left. I uh, still still failed to get a single video approved. Uh, uh, was make uh, I was of course making uh, four hundred thousand dollars a year in this role, so that was pretty nice. Um, the other guy, the other people there, uh, you know, uh, I don't I don't really know why they were brought over. They these people they were brought over. They they brought over this this Catholic podcast. In the, you know. The uh, sort of the perspective from the uh, Rome from the Roman Church. Uh, that one really didn't work because all the video, they they wouldn't prevent any of the videos because they were just they, the videos they'd be about like oh, uh, what 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 did the what did the Vatican say all that kind of like shit and then and then and the, and the, they'd make them and then oh, the overseers and of course you know they wouldn't approve them because you know because they can't prophetize in the country so I don't know what the hell they were doing there. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know. And then I didn't talk to those guys much in general. They didn't talk to me. Uh, they're only, I mean, of course, they were the only group left besides me at that point. Everyone else is, is gone. So uh, we, we kind of had a very awkward situation. I would kind of walk past them every day to get into the path to make these kind of videos. And they would, you know, call me a de 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 degenerate and tell me I was going to hell. And I was like, okay, uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I tried to tell them that, you know, you know, I mean, the Catholic religion, uh, they got owned. You know, if God was really on their side, why do you let the Protestants beat them? Why do you let the Protestant church flourish in Europe? I mean, if, if the Catholics really were on God's, if God was really on their side, why do you let the Orthodox people leave? And why do you let the Protestants start up? Uh, they didn't like that very much. They did not like hearing that. Uh, and then they started talking to me even less. Um, I don't know what happened to them. They, uh, they, they, they got some, they, they got a job in Brazil, I think. I don't really know. They just something to do with 
some some guy a ball 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 man or boss 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 and air bossy bossy yero i think it's like an anime thing i don't fucking know anyway at that point i was the last guy left um and i think i think management kind of forgot about me because i got so frustrated with the videos they weren't accepting i stopped i just stopped making them and uh so after a few months of just just kind of hanging out in the hotel they they were like oh you're still here you gotta go so anyway now i'm back in america and uh, that was what I've been doing since I was gone. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, now we're back and uh, and now we can make some more videos. That's great. That's really fun. Uh, thanks for watching.